that would be innovative. I think the combination of uh, supporting young researchers and um, integrating science but also arts and humanities in the medical degree is absolutely unique and is an innovation. That was mainly curiosity. I always wanted to understand how things work and research is a very satisfying field of work for someone like this. I think the two key skills necessary for a career in research are curiosity. You need to have an inquisitive mind and you need endurance because there will be times uh, during which you have to wait for results very long. Diversity is always a benefit. Our research group is very diverse and we are 60% women and that makes for a very fruitful environment for solving problems and for discussing possible solutions to our research questions. I would say no two days are alike in research. Of course you can make plans but hardly any day goes according to plan but that is also what I like about it. The Danube Private University is a young university and our group has only been founded last year and it's fascinating to see the two grow together and that also makes for a very dynamic and young field of work. That our research group can show students the, the positive aspects of a career in academia and I would wish for some of them not to cut ties with academia entirely once they graduate but to join with us and pursue a career in research. In five years from now I think artificial intelligence will be everywhere in medicine and in particular in radiology. And our role is to educate our students, our fellow scientists about the benefits and the pitfalls that come with artificial intelligence so that we can make educated choices regarding where to apply it and how to apply it so that we get the best and the most out of it for our patients and for patient care. Artificial intelligence will, be, will play a huge role in healthcare um, and now is the time for us to decide whether this um, will be an advantage or a disadvantage. We need new regulations, regulations that are completely different from what we know now. We need our colleagues to be trained on the subject. It's similar to being faced with a sales representative of a pharmaceutical company. You need to understand statistics to understand what they are trying to sell you. And for AI it's the same. You need to have a basic understanding of how algorithms are developed and tested. And only with that basic understanding can you make choices, choices which algorithms you want to apply on your hospital data. Um, if those choices are made wisely, I think we can um, speed up tedious work and get more time out of the whole process that we can spend with those patients who need our time most. <laughs>